Hi, I am the Low One Guru, and ever since I uploaded my video on how to fix the Acer's One Black Screen of Death, I have been getting this question a lot. Why does it happen? Well, the first time it happens, it seems like it's a problem with the BIOS, the original software that came with the netbook. That's a problem that Acer knows about, and they have posted in their official website that this problem will occur, and they have the instructions on how to fix it. But that only explains the first time it happens. To some people, it happens over and over again. When I had a Acer One, I never had the problem, but I have a friend of mine who already had the problem three times, and he keeps fixing it, and then it keeps happening again. I have been speaking with another friend, and we have been trying to figure out what the problem can be. We have reasons to believe that this problem happens when there's a critical battery failure. This means that the battery drains and is out of juice, so to speak, and the computer turns off all of a sudden. So that's when you get the black screen of death problem. I think this is not just an assumption because it already happened to my friend. And when I got this Acer one for the third time and I had to recover it from the black screen of death problem, the first thing I saw when Windows came up was the Windows messages indicating the battery was critically low. So I think we're starting to see a pattern here. So we think that one way to try to avoid this problem would be first to calibrate the battery. Calibrating means that we're letting the Acer know what is empty and what is full. When should you calibrate your battery? Well, you should calibrate it when the battery status display seems inaccurate, which is this case, right? It, it says that it's about 20% or whatever, and maybe it's 0%, and that's why it's failing critically, and we're getting the problem with the Acer. You also should perform the calibration when you observe a significant change in normal battery run time, or when your battery pack has not been used for one month or more. So in this case, the battery status display seems inaccurate, right? I mean, it's saying that we have whatever amount of time left and it's not true because it's turning off and getting us the problem with the black screen. The first step in calibrating the battery is letting it charge completely. You can see here the light is green so it has charged fully. It's connected to the AC, right? Once the laptop is fully charged and you're ready to start discharging it, then go to start configuration control panel to the power options and then here go to hibernation or hibernate deactivate the hibernate option go to alarms deactivate all alarms and then go to power schemes choose always on and then set everything to never 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 and accept and then unplug the AC and let it run on batteries until the battery drains completely and the computer turns off on its own. It will take one or two hours depending on the condition of your battery. So as you can see I have already let the battery drain completely on this netbook and now if I try to turn it on nothing happens. The battery is completely dead. It's well not dead but drained. So now I'll plug the AC adapter again and I will let it charge until it charges completely. You can do this just once or repeat the whole process of charging and discharging up to three times if you want to be really thorough. As a rule of thumb, I recommend you to go to the power options and then on the alarms, set the computer to turn off or hibernate when you're in about 20% of battery so it never runs out completely of the battery when you're using it and we avoid the critical failure of the battery. And also, I recommend you to calibrate the battery once a month. This should prevent the black screen from ever happening again. If this tutorial helped you in any way, leave your comments below and let us know. I am the Lohan Guru and you have a great day.